So this story begins in where Toy Story 3 ended, which is uh, the toys have been given to Bonnie from Andy, and we start right there. It was one of the reasons I got excited about this film was what's next for these toys? They've been given to Bonnie. It feels like the story's over. I thought it was over. Um, and it wasn't until we kind of dug in and said, what's next for these guys? And we started finding these um, great little, th little, little moments to, to explore, and it started to build into a story that was worth telling. I was, you know, as a first-time director, pretty intimidated to work with Tom Hanks. You know, <laughs> how can you not be? Uh, when I pitched him the film, I got to about the scene where uh, Woody uh, is in the backpack and he helps get the supplies in front of uh, Bonnie, so she's building Forky. And he went, okay, you got me, all right. And, and that's when I, my, all of a sudden I, I could relax, because like, okay, Tom's in. I got him uh, excited about it, and I can see he's, he was invested. Um, he, he's, he's Woody. He's been Woody for almost 30 years now or something like that. So um, he knows the character so well. He knows the world so well. It's, um, it was a joy working with him. Uh, he almost directs himself <laughs> because everything he gives you is gold. It's, it becomes an embarrassment of riches. It's like, what take do I not use? So. Um, it's, it was so much fun working with them. Absolutely loved it. When we, uh, when, when I pitched this film to, to Christina, and I told her more about Gabby, and I told her like, uh, there's a lot of ventriloquist dummies, and it's kind of creepy. And she went, Oh, okay, this sounds great. <laughs> and I said, w uh, What? And uh, she said, Well, you know, growing up, I didn't really play with dolls. I played with ventriloquist dummies. And I said, Okay. And uh, she said, and also I have a lot of dolls in my, in my house. I'm like, you have a lot of, or she, actually she said, actually I have, I have a lot of doll heads in my house. And I said, a lot of doll heads? And she said, what, you mean the dolls? And she said, no, just, just the heads. And I was like, oh, you're going to be perfect. <laughs> so Team Bo is a group of artists here at the studio, animators, artists, um, technical uh, artists that uh, came together to work specifically just on Bo Peep and her kind of return to the big screen. All of these artists were all women at the studio that um, kind of took it upon themselves to, to shepherd her, <laughs> literally, into, onto the screen in a big way. And they, were, they oversaw every kind of aspect of her and um, made her incredibly awesome. Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear. He just is. And, uh, he comes into a room and it feels like Buzz Lightyear has just walked into the room. Tim has been doing Buzz for 30 years as well and he and Tom both know what feels right for these characters and that's something that um, I, I, I relied on that heavily. If they ever felt like, ah, this doesn't quite feel right, I go, well, let's stop and let's, ex let's, let's talk about it and, and uh, let's get there. So um, it was so much fun working with both of them. I was not prepared for how funny Keanu Reeves is. I was not ready for that at all. He's just naturally a very funny guy. And uh, he, he brought so many gags and so many thoughts that are in the movie. For example, Duke doing all these poses, that was his idea. He came and uh, met with us early on. Before he was even cast, he came and was talking about the character. And out in our atrium, he just uh, stood up on the table and started posing and, and yelling, I'm Duke Kaboom! Uh, hoo, ha! And I was like, this is hilarious. This has to go into the movie. And so I'm so glad he uh, is in this film because that is him on the screen.